Okay, we're going to go ahead and take a look at number 90 from section 7.1, which deals with the review of solving linear equations and inequalities in one variable. If you do not have your textbook, I would suggest that you pause the video and go ahead and grab it. Um, while you do that, I'm going to go ahead and start setting up the problem. Okay. So I'm just drawing this a little bit different than how your textbook is presenting it. Again, I'm doing an aerial view. So number 90, it's talking about enclosing swimming pools. A woman wants to enclose the swimming pool shown in the illustration and have a walkway of uniform width all the way around. How wide will the walkway be if the woman uses 180 feet of fencing? So note here that we are putting a walkway around and you want to note that they use this keyword uniform, okay? So they're saying that if you were to take a tape measure and measure from the edge of the pool to the edge of this walkway, you're going to have some unit being used here, okay? So in this case, the problem is saying that all of your measurements are in feet. So if I am here and measure it, it's x feet. If I were to come over here and measure the width between the pool and the end of the walkway, it would be x feet. Uh, if I came over here, it would be x feet, this width. And if I came over here, it would be, you guessed it, x feet. So we want to actually um, go ahead and figure out the dimensions of essentially this walkway because the fence is actually going to go right up against the walkway here. So you're going to have a fence along here and here. And again, we want to find the dimensions, so we're looking for the length and the width. Okay. So when you are constructing this, we know that she's going to need to use, this woman who's building this fence around the walkway, she's going to use a grand total of 180 feet of fencing. So if you figure if you measure from all four sides and you're supposed to get 180 feet, the tip off here is that we're dealing with perimeter since we're adding up all sides. So we know that the perimeter will be 180. And we know that in order to find perimeter, we're going to add up all the sides. So what we have to do is we have to figure out, okay, I'm really, what I'm really going to do is I'm going to extend these arrows so I know from the tip of the red arrows, it's 20 feet, and then I need to add an additional X feet here. Okay, so really the uh, width here is going to be 20 plus 2X. And again, since this is a perimeter, I'm going to measure that side twice, since I have two sides that measure the same length, or same width. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the length here. So my length for my fence is actually going to be that 30 feet that you see from the pool, and then you're going to see that additional x feet coming into play on both sides. So the length that I'm going to have is going to be 30 plus 2x plus another 30 plus 2x, again, taking into account that second side that has the same measure. So now we're going to go ahead and clean this up. So notice that I have a 2x, a 2x, a 2x, and a 2x. If you were to add all of those up, we would have 8x. And then note here that I have a 20, a 20, a 30, and a 30. So if you add all of those up, we would have 100. If we subtract the 100 from both sides so that I can start to combine like terms and isolate my x, I get 80 is equal to 8x. And then again, to break that multiplication, I'm going to divide both sides by 8. So we know that the width of the walkway is going to be 10 feet. But again, we want to know the dimensions of the fence. So again, we said that the width is equal to 20 plus 2x, and the length is going to be equal to 30 plus 2x. So now we know what the mystery value is here. We know that x is really 10, so we're going to do 20 
plus 2 times 10, which simplifies to 20 plus 20, or 40 feet. And then our length is going to be 30 plus 2 times 10, or 30 plus 20, or 50 feet. Okay. So we know that the dimension for the fence is going to be 40 feet by 50 feet. And the reason why we know that is because the width of the walkway is 10 feet. So there's all of your information summarized.